హలో బిజినెస్ సైకిల్స్ ఆఫ్ ద షిఫ్ట్ బిట్వీన్ స్ట్రాంగ్ ఎకనామిక్ గ్రోత్ డిస్క్రైబ్ అస్ అ బూమ్ ఆర్ ఎక్స్పాన్షన్ పీరియడ్ అండ్ పీరియడ్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎకనామిక్ డిక్లైన్ ఆర్ స్టాగ్నేషన్ దే ఆర్ ఆఫ్ అండ్ రెఫర్ టు అస్ సైకిల్స్ ఆఫ్ బూమ్ అండ్ బస్ట్ ఇన్ బూమ్ టైమ్స్ companies have high profits they increase production to satisfy demand for goods that leads to excess supply companies cut prices to compete for customers that leads to lower profits layoffs and economic depression then that in turn leads to eventually lower prices that leads to increase in demand and prices go back up so the economy sees both so you find it it boom and bust so this has to be checked so we have different economic policies The ideas of the renowned 18th century British economist David Ricardo were clearly shaped by the world he inhabited and by his personal life. The government introduced policies that aimed to increase exports and in decrease imports. In an attempt to enrich the nation, through an inflow of gold so in england the policy dates back to the elizabethan times ricardo thought that in the long run such protectionist policies were made more likely to restrict the ability of the country to increase its wealth Ricard, ricardo was particularly concerned by the introduction of a british tax known as corn laws during the napoleonic wars it was not possible to import wheat from europe so the price of wheat in britain had risen as a result of this price increase many land owners increased the proportion of their land dedicated to growing crops however as the war began to falter in 1812 the price of wheat fell back as a result the land owners who also controlled the parliament passed the corn laws at the end of war in 1815 to restrict the pro- importation of foreign wheat and place a floor a bottom price on grain the laws protected farmers but also pushed the price of bread beyond what poorer people could be at a time when newly returned soldiers and sailors were unable to find work Ricardo opposed corn laws despite being a wealthy land owner himself. He claimed that the laws would make Britain poorer and developed a theory that has become the mainstay for all those wishing to justify free trade between countries. Ricardo believed landlords tended to squander their wealth on luxuries rather than invest. He believed the corn laws were leading to the stagnation of British economy. He, he developed the theory that attributes the cause and benefits of international trade to the differences in the relative opportunity cost of producing the same commodities among countries ricardo known for his theory on wages and profit labor theory of value theory of comparative advantage and theory of rents
Between 1500 and 1750, most economists advocated mercantilism, which promoted the idea of international trade for the purpose of earning bullion by running a trade surplus with other countries. Ricardo challenged the idea that the purpose of trade was merely to accumulate gold or silver. With comparative advantage, Ricardo argued in favor of industry specialization and free trade. He suggested that the industry specialization combined with free international trade always produced positive results. This theory expanded on the concept of absolute advantage. He suggested that there is mutual uh, national benefit from trade even if one country is more competitive in every area than its trading counterpart and the nation should con- concentrate resources only in industries where it has a comparative advantage that is in those industries in which it has the highest greatest competitive edge ricardo suggested that national industries which were in fact profitable and internationally competitive should be jettisoned in favor of the most competitive industries the assumption being that subsequent economic growth would more than offset any economic dislocation which would result from closing profitable and competitive national industries he attempted to prove theoretically that international trade is always beneficial